Hey folks, Amy from Colorado Mountain Living. We are here at the home site this weekend. We're trying to get ready to button up our first floor project and seal it up before the snow comes. I'll show you our Monday forecast. Definitely calling for some inches of snow, more than just one or two. And then we've got snow for the rest of the week in the forecast. So we want to get prepared because sometimes up here, when they say three to five inches, you can get six to 10. And it's just the way that the elevation runs up here. You end up getting more precipitation than what the forecast calls for. So I thought today might be fun to kind of do a little bit of a property tour because I haven't really done that yet. And I just want to kind of give you the lay of the land. So I'm going to start at the bottom of the driveway and kind of give you a good perspective of kind of what it looks like up here. All right, let's go take a look. Down at the bottom of the driveway, kind of seen this view a few times, house up on the hill there. So I'm coming up to the corner of the driveway. This is where we start to get a little elevation in the driveway, a little bit of climb here. And then we've got a neighbor this direction and our property line really starts from this driveway. The driveway at the bottom here is an easement and the property line goes, uh, let's see, that would be kind of due east towards those evergreen trees back there. So that's sort of the, the baseline of the property. As we make the corner, and then you can see how the driveway goes up, we've got some, we, Brian tried to put up some snow fencing there. Up. It kind of blew down because of the wind, but this along this fence is our property line to the west of us. Anyway, walking up the driveway here, coming around the corner of the driveway here. This is where we get a natural spring. It's a little bit dry right now, but it fills up quite a bit in the springtime. Dog likes to swim in it. But we got a lot of water seeping out of the side of the driveway. So we'd love to be able to utilize that. Oh, you can see my tire tracks. It's very muddy right now. I almost didn't make it up in my little car. Really spinning around up there. To the north, uh, if you can see that fence right there. The fencing is about a foot or two inside the property line. It, there's just a nice, there's a nice animal fencing that's they had put up years ago, but that sort of mar marks the boundary of our property and the national forest, which is right behind that. So we have all along this, all along this fencing. I always like the nice aspen trees, to kind of a nice touch. breaks up all of the evergreen trees and aspens are a, a boon to have on your property because they are a natural fire break and they usually indicate as natural sources of water so they it's great that our property is surrounded on all sides by aspens so that should help us in the event of forest fires so we have a mailbox up here. It does not mean that we're getting mail up here at all. It just means that's where we're keeping our permits for now. In this big mailbox. Get a little taste of the view that we're gonna have. And all of our timbers and lumber that we've had delivered in the last several weeks, all up here, up in the mud pit with the tractor. Back here is where we moved our original storage barn. Now this one did have a canvas on it at one point, but it did it, ha it didn't quite last more more than a year because of the severe winds that we have up here. And they it did get a little crack in the opening, and they just caught the wind just right. And in about six months, it completely ripped off. So we would like to move this further back into the woods, maybe tilt, turn it a little bit so it doesn't catch the wind as much, and then um, you know, put a canvas back on it and use it for storage or store the tractor, whatever. Septic system to the right, so you can see the, um, 
the hill starts to slope down pretty quickly. We've got our lockout basement on this side. So you can see the driveway down there, neighbor's house, the, septic, the leach system, septic field going that way. Still a lot more aspens surrounding us on this side. So it's just a nice open area. But even once you get into the aspens, we still have about another acre of wooded land that is our property. So that's kind of fun. I'm gonna show you something really cool in this area. A lot of places on this property, we have piles of rocks. And I think we're gonna use these as landscaping architectural accents. You know, they're not very large rocks, but we just have lots of piles of them. So here's one pretty big pile. Brian has cleared some trees back here. He wants to put the garage back here, the canvas garage. So, so uh, it's more protected from the wind. We're starting to get a little bit more evergreens as well into the woods. So you know, we might be able to dig up some of the small ones and maybe place them. So there's a couple that are, you know, two or three feet tall, these little guys right here. One and two right there, these little guys. So these can be, we might dig these up and try to put them in other places on the property to, to add a little bit of um, mountain feel. What do we have here? Okay, the eagles found a pile of snow in the woods. Vigo, he's just gonna be sad in the summertime when there's no snow. But every time he finds snow, he wants to roll in it, bury his head in it. And uh, yet another pile of rocks. So these are a little bit, little bit larger. You can see the fencing right there. It's kind of like right on the edge of our property. But there's a nice giant pile of rocks here. So I think we'll be able to do something with some of these. We have some fallen trees down here. Um, you see our the fencing there that just kind of follows the property line all the way down, and got you know some some resources to work with. Some cool rocks, some fallen old dead trees, even some little tiny evergreen trees we could kind of dig up for landscaping. You can see, now look at this. We've got some aspens that have been rubbed by some somebody's antlers, so either moose or elk coming through here so those trees will probably die at some point if they rubbed all the way around I'm gonna just, we're probably not going to do a lot of development in here yet just yet we'll probably pick it for some of the resources the, the wood and the rocks like I said but, so I'm coming back on the lower side of the property and the where the septic field is I'm gonna walk down to the bottom of the aspens here the leach field, house in the background there. Um, it's all wide open like you can see. It's just gonna be great for us with all that solar gain that we have from the open area without trees. It's the corner of our neighbor's property right there. It's a little fence area. So that's going to the, kind of like where the corner of his property meets ours. And then if I can walk down to the corner of that, I'll show you the northern view the line where just like the corner of our property down to those aspens over there is the corner of our corner of our driveway and then you can see where the aspens grove sort of starts right there and this is sort of walking the property line from the corner the house is up there It's a nice grassy area, open, sunny. We might try to plant some fruit trees or bushes or whatever might grow in this spot. Poured a little bit of cement here. This is where he's gonna put the solar array. And then due north right there is a beehive, aspen grove, grove. and uh, there's a house up there. So looking at the solar uh, spot right there, if we take a spin over to the 
this side over here, this is where you can see an old cistern that was on the property built in the 60s. This is the area that I was thinking we could develop into a little bit more um, gardening because we'd have that close by a water supply that would be really helpful to um, irrigate. Well, in the earlier video, when I was going over the our garden plans and our landscaping plans, I talked about doing some raised beds and I wanted to do them right below the house. So right here is another section where we've got a pile of rock, but right below where all this dirt is, we want to put in some raised beds this spring. So um, that's kind of what I'd like to get done first is kind of work on this area, maybe, maybe two or three on each kind of on each side here, but I think there's room to have some raised beds and then a little pathway down to the beehive there. So when you're kind of looking at it from this angle, there's definitely plenty of room to sort of make what we want at, to out of this hill. It's really fortunate, I think, that our property is on a hill because I think that gives us a lot of opportunities, a lot of creative ideas that we can use to develop the area. Um, we have natural sources of water, we have all the sunlight, um, we've got aspen trees surrounding the entire property with a little bit of some of the evergreen trees back in the forest back there. So I think we're going to have a fun time trying to uh, make this place our own and I think everybody's really excited about it, especially Vigo. Also put a bead on that red edge, please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Phew! I just take a break and look out at the view. Well, Brian and Lance put in a solid effort to get the job done by the end of the day. In fact, they used up all of the materials and were still short just a few boards from being completely done with the flooring project. But in any case, there was nothing we could do about it now except cover up the entire floor to protect it from the snow that was about to come. And we put threw down a bunch of tarps, and in fact, one of the tarps was an old billboard and you'll see at the end the funny picture that's uh, attached to the billboard but to secure it we threw down a bunch of heavy materials rocks and wood and Brian also secured it with nails um, so that it wouldn't blow away the, with the wind because that's what happens with tarps up here so here's Brian standing in front of his masterpiece his finished first floor basement area of our home and from the road you can see we have a piece of art that we're proud of. Thanks guys. Thanks for joining in. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and if you want to follow the rest of our journey make sure to subscribe. We'll see you at the next video. Take care.